So the, the next thing or point that I wanted to talk about is maybe where the future is of LCD screens. We wanted to kind of get an idea of where this is going. Okay, the first development that you will likely see already in a couple of weeks now coming on the market are 3D displays, which in principle are also LCD screens with LED backlights, likely with very high picture refresh rates, which basically just have two images at the same time, and you will wear a bunch of goggles sitting in front of your TV and watch like you know the Avatar movie. You will watch a 3D movie on your screen if it's provided in 3D from the from your TV supplier or from the movie or from the DVD that you are watching. Um, another uh, aspect will be flexible displays. So we will soon have on the market flexible displays that are also called e-paper. So it's basically like a like a foil that you can bend and twist around and you can you can load information on it via a memory stick, maybe by for example reading a book, something in a train or in a bus. And you can basically roll the display up when you're done and you can put it in your pocket and go ahead. Um, so this is basically what will come in the sort of near future. What is uh, likely the next thing that will come in terms of development of liquid crystalline materials will be what's called the liquid crystalline blue phases. So this is a complete new liquid crystalline phase. We have so far talked about the ferroelectric liquid crystal materials. We have talked about pneumatics. Now the new generation is called blue phase. So this is a, a three-dimensional complex chiral structure which can be deformed by applying an electric field. And this effect we usually refer to as the care effect. And so Samsung is a company that has already developed a prototype that you can, it was shown in 2008 for the first time, which will make use of this completely new liquid crystalline phase and will make the manufacturing of LCD displays much more energy efficient, cost efficient, because we don't need what's called an alignment layer. These three dimensional structures can simply be sandwiched between the glass plates and all the electronics without needing the extra polymer alignment layers, which are also complicated in the manufacturing process, requiring clean rooms and advanced production technology. Um, so that's one thing. The next thing that will come is more or less on a molecular level. And this is uh, chemists, physicists and engineers such as myself working on new systems that will eventually make LCD displays even quicker. Uh, the current response time, the maximum shortest response time that we have is about three to four milliseconds. And this is basically what it takes to completely go from an off to an on state. To make that process even quicker, you can imagine that we are currently rotating rod-like molecules around their long molecular axis in either the in-plane switching or vertical alignment screen. Why not think about rotating a molecule around its short molecular axis? This motion should be much, much quicker, but you need complete new sets of molecules to do that, and these ones are called biaxial pneumatic liquid crystalline materials. So that's, that's sort of more towards the future, and what my working group here in the University of Manitoba is working on is using nanocomposites, using small amounts of nanoparticles or quantum dots to disperse them in a liquid crystalline matrix, such as a pneumatic liquid crystal or blue phase, to uh, show, and we have shown in the past, that we can reduce the response time of these liquid crystalline molecules and also the amount of voltage required for the molecular switch to happen by doping small amounts of these quantum uh, dots or nanoparticles into these mixtures. And I believe that's where the future will go.